Good morning. My name is Ravina. I had completed my 9th and present or 10th. Today I want to discuss about digestive system. Actually, digestive system is very complex in nature. Different parts of digestive system program different functions. So let us observe the figure of digestive system. This is a figure as well as sample of digestive system which I had prepared with wastage material. First, I had used half of wastage bottle as mouth. Next, pie heap as food pipe or I mean use of food. Next, stomach. I had used Vaseline bottle as stomach. Next, we have blue color tape. I had used as duodenum and small tiny pipe as small intestine and some large pipe as large intestine. Next, our uh, digestive system starts with mouth and ends with anus. First, when we take food, we go to mouth and put pipe and stomach and small intestine and large intestine and come through anus. So let me let me start. First, when we take food, we chew food. We are not birds to sal um, to chew, to take food without chewing. So we chew food and cut down into small pieces. So it is called mastication. When we chew food and cut down into small pieces, saliva will mix us. Saliva is released by salivary glands, which is present in our mouth. There are three pairs of salivary glands. So next, that chew food roll, roll to ball-like structure called bolus. And next, the food will enter to use of fungus by wave-like contraction or wave-like structure called peristaltic movement. Wave-like structure is called peristaltic movement. So next, the food will enter to stomach. In stomach, there will be digestive juices and gastric glands. There are three types of gastric glands. They are, first one is HCL, second one is pepsin, and third one is mucus. First, HCL. HCL, HCL helps us to digest food as well as HCL helps to kill bacteria. We may take food which contain bacteria so HCL kills the bacteria next pepsin pepsin helps pepsin sorry pepsin takes the food Pe pepsin takes the proteins from the food next mucus actually mucus is present at the walls of stomach at the walls of stomach it helps to not to damage from HCL due to disgassion of mucus sometimes we may feel burning sensation in our stomach or acidity etc so next this after this total digestion uh, after this total process in stomach that food is called chyme next that food will enter to duodenum here what will happen means from liver from liver bile and pancreas is release a pancreas releases some juices to duodenum. First, bile. Bile. Bile digests fats which is present in food. So, uh, take an example. Take, take, take one glass and pour water. And in that, pour some oil. What will happen? The oil will float on water. Is it? Yes. The oil will float on water. Next, uh, you want to uh, do as small molecules. You want to convert that oil droplets as small molecules. What you may do? What you may do? You may stir. But it won't convert into small molecules. So what you should do means, you should add some detergent in it. When you add detergent, it will convert into small molecules. So uh, as it is in stomach, the fats will float on juices or liquids. Fats will float on liquids. So enzymes can't do anything. Enzymes can't do as small molecules. So this bile, bile will help the uh, fat, food. Um, bile will help us help to digest fats in food. So this is called emulsification. Next, pancreasis. Pancreas releases pancreatic juice. That juice helps to digest food. Next, that food 
will enter to small intestine. The red fluid will enter to small intestine. In small intestine, there will be finger-like structures called microvilli. In small intestine, finger-like structures called microvilli. It absorbs nutrients from the food. It absorbs nutrients from the food. So, next, the remain food. The remain food will enter to large intestine. In large intestine, water and salts are observed by this large intestine, and remain food will come through anus, will come out to anus. So this uh, I want to show. See, if when we pour water, it means when we take food, when we take food, it goes to esophagus. And next it will go to stomach and they will be digested and chyme will come out to small intestine and uh, nutrients will be absorbed in small intestine and next it will go to large intestine and salts and water will be absorbed by large intestine and next remain food will come out like this. See, like this it will come out. So, this is a uh, structure. So now, so now, to avoid problems in digestive system, to avoid problems in digestive system, you should follow five rules. Only five rules. So first one is you should take well balanced and well nutritious food. You should take well balanced food and you should take nutritious food. This is first step. And second is you should eat it leisurely. You should eat the food leisurely. Next, third one is you should chew it thoroughly. You should chew the food thoroughly. Next, fourth one is after eating food, uh, should not do violent exercises. Stop the doing violent exercises after eating food. Next, fifth one is you should eat, you should drink plenty of water. What you, sh what you should do? You should drink plenty of water. So, by doing these five steps, you may uh, you can avoid uh, problems of digestive system. So, due to this pandemic, Corona, eat nutritious food and be healthy. So, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.